So what I'll be using today is Gin brand epoxy resin and the hardener. This is a eight ounce and eight ounce, and uh, this is a one to one ratio. So if I do uh, twenty millimeter and then twenty millimeter of each, and then just stir it for at least a good uh, two to three minutes, and then after that, you'll just apply it to the item. But yeah, we'll see the process. So right now, it's a mixture of ten millimeter for the hardener and ten millimeter for the resin. And now, I'm just gonna. Pour them in. If it's not enough, then uh, I'll, I'll do add more. But for now, just doing 1010. I believe this is enough because there's not the piece that I'm using. There, there's not. Uh, there's not a lot. So after I mix them up, stir it for at least one to two minutes. There will be little bubbles, but that's okay because you can either use a, um, what is it? A uh, hair dryer or a heat gun to heat it up and all the bubbles will pop and you should be good to apply it. So after you finish stirring it, you can just apply to it. Apply the resin the epoxy to it just like that don't apply too much to it just spread it around just be careful because you don't want this to touch your fingers because it's really sticky oh it did touch mine but it's okay So this is my second time doing it. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be okay, good enough. Yep. Apply to every way. Okay, so this one is done. Pretty shiny. Second one. Hmm, maybe I used too much, but I added a total of a uh, twenty millimeter for each. Oh, no, no. Next time to add less, to mix less is a little bit too much, but that's okay. All right, so it's a mess, yes. But yeah, after it's intact, the resin is like sticky for about two hours. I lay the cloth on top of it and make sure you, there's extra pieces. I mean, there's extras that lay over. So that way you can cut around it. And yeah, so far, there is nothing, there is no layer on top of it yet. All I did was just press down on it, use glove, but you know, I didn't use glove, but yeah, it's pretty sticky. So now it should be good to uh, lay the first layer. I'm uh, What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the outside. So after trimming, it's, it's looking okay. But yeah, I'm about to do the mixture of the epoxy resin and harder, hardener. And then uh, I'll lay the first coat on top of it. So now I'm just doing the first layer. And I'll just go over it. There's that side is not pink, and this side is not. This side has doesn't have it. This side has it. The epoxy and. Yeah, I'm just spreading it around. Go all over.
Whoops. Come on. Oh, yeah. Try even it out if you can. Yeah, here is a close-up how it looks like first layer on there there it is first layer is on just gotta let it cure for uh, at least an hour, to, at least two hours. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I let it cure overnight, and then um, I just finally sanded it with 320 grit on all three parts. So there are a lot of um, unevenness. As you can see, the darker spots are the deeper spots, and then the lighter spots are the higher spots. And that's okay, because we'll lay, we'll lay like a couple good more layers over it, and just repeat the process, and go from there. Yep. So that is the, I believe, third, no, second layer. It's looking okay. I mean, it's a little bit looking like bacon, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll turn out better than this once it's cured and um, buffed, sand buffed down. Yep. That's it. Well, for now, more to come. So, just finished sanding down, and yeah, that's I sanded down with a uh, 800 grit all around, and then now clean it up, and then I'm gonna spray paint, well, clear coat it with this, and yeah, go from there. I already shaked up the pan, so. Pretty much ready. Just do light coat. You don't need to do heavy. First coat will be light. Just a little bit more. That's about it. Stay a couple, at least a feet away from it. Yep. Here's the focus. First coat. There'll be, there'll be more coats in afterwards.